You have to put your emotion aside for a little bit. You have to put your ego aside to deal with a toxic manager. Dealing with a toxic manager is not the easiest thing. It's very, very hard. Just because, let's say, a company puts someone in a position means they're an actual leader. They know, they understand leadership. No, that's not how it works because not everyone knows about leadership. Not everyone knows how to be a good manager. Not everyone knows how to deal with people very well. You have to understand that, man. Some people, they're very, very bad, terrible when it comes to dealing with people because not everyone can handle power very well. Power can get in people's head very, very quick. And it's a heavy weight, to be quite honest with you, right? So, the thing is, company usually hire people based on their resume, credential, or if the person been around for a very long time, they just put the person on a leadership position. But it doesn't mean that person is an actual leader because, you know, the way I look at it, if a person can lead themselves, they won't be able to lead other people. So dealing with a toxic boss could be very draining, man. Like, yo, let me tell you, it could burn out your energy. But the problem is you can't just quit your job just like that. You need that job. How do you deal with a toxic leader? How do you deal with a toxic manager? I'm going to tell you. First, it's going to require a lot of emotional control. You have to be able to control your emotion to understand or to even to see what I'm talking about. Because, yo, listen, if a boss come to you in a hard way, your emotion not going to take it lightly. Your ego not going to take it lightly. You can become triggered very quick. And that's exactly what they want. They want you to trigger because the minute you trigger, your job is gone. See, so it's the reason I'm saying learning to control your emotion, not just at work, even at home. You have to practice that shit. The more you practice, the better you'll become at it. If you learn to control your emotion, you will be able to deal with any situation without a problem. That's what I like about it, you know? So you have to learn to navigate. And you have to learn to navigate in a smooth way. You don't have to be all aggressive. Listen, aggressiveness, you know, being aggressive, man, it's like ancient stuff. Like where, where you're big and strong and you, you know, you can just slap someone up or something like that. No, in this world we're living in today, however, as long as you could use your mind, as long as you're mentally strong, you're a giant. Straight up, you are a giant. So, controlling emotion will always be key. Controlling your aggressiveness, your anger should be key. Because training your mind to think like a leader will get you very, very far. It's the reason, guys, man, self-discipline is key. You should learn to discipline the emotion. You should learn to discipline your mind. And you should wire your mind to think like a leader, to communicate better, to understand body language, to understand who you are, human nature. Like, you know, because you have that, you know, don't you see sometimes, like, you would do something and next minute you'll snap out of it. You'll be like, damn, that's me. I didn't know I'm capable of doing that, man. Who the hell is, yo, what the hell? <laughs> because we have a side that we don't usually take the time to understand what that side actually is. At the end of the day, you have it in you, but you must understand that side and you must train it to become better because it's a wild side, man. If you just let it go out loosely, you can end up getting in trouble or end up doing something stupid. So you must train it and you must learn to control it. If you learn to control it, you will know when to let it out and when to hold back. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying to suppress. But I'm saying to control it. As in... You are in control of yourself. Anyway, so if you have emotional control, you will be able to distance yourself and you will be able to look at the situation and you realize your toxic boss has personal issues. Because most of the time, okay, before, before I go any further, I have to say this because we have to separate the two. If someone always late, never on time and not performing their task very well, or they're, not, they're always complaining. Of course, no manager, no leader going to tolerate it. Because it's going to create a negative dynamic, right? 
so no one will deal with it so if someone always late always complaining let's say super lazy and um always no 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 manager gonna tolerate it no leader gonna tolerate it no way so we have to separate them but if someone always on time performing their task very well and the manager the leader still giving them a hard time that's when you're looking at a toxic boss okay so as i was saying personal issues they are a human being too although they have like a let's say a higher position they're the boss they're walking all confident and everything they're still human being they have emotion like everyone else they have a mind like everyone else your leader could have insecurity problem self-esteem issues depression personal problem at home problems all kinds of different problems so when they reach at work because they have a little power they just let all the negativity out they just let all their frustration out on the team which is very very bad so it's something that most people have to deal with on a daily basis okay so not taking it personally will help you looking at it from that lens will help you the minute you look bothered that means you're giving them what they want you're giving that toxic leader exactly what they want and you don't want to do that so you always want to you always want to control your emotion like i said you always want to look unbothered and focus on building a good reputation with the company that's it yo stay calm never complain don't gossip be on time do what you got to do and dip all right so what do we do here, guys? We learn, we push, and we grow to become the best version of ourselves. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button for more great content. If you have anything to say, let it out in the comment section. See you next time. Ciao.